no longer offered with an optional third row. The 2024 Mercedes E-Class can swallow 615 liters, 21.7 cubic feet, with the rear seats in place or 1,830 liters, 64.6 cubic feet, if you fold them. Go for a plug-in hybrid and practicality takes a hit due to the added hardware, with the volume dropping to 460 liters, 16.2 cubic feet, or 1,785 liters, 63 cubic feet, after folding the 40 hours 20 minutes 40 seconds split rear seats. Accessing the cargo area is done through an electrically operated tailgate fitted as standard equipment. Numbers aside, the new E-Class Estate is a handsome wagon that is all the right reasons to cannibalize sales of the GLE. As expected, it closely follows the W214 E-Class sedan introduced in late April and looks less controversial than the upcoming BMW 5 Series Touring. The body is sleeker than before as the drag coefficient has dropped from 0.27 to 0.26. You can have it with wheels as large as 21 inches but the base model rides on a 17-inch set. Offered with standard rear air suspension or an optional two-axle airmatic, the E-Class Estate promises to be a posh and comfortable family car with all the goodies available from the sedan. Yes, it can be had with three screens, a selfie camera, and TikTok integration. Angry Birds is also included, as is Zoom for conferences by using the same interior video camera mounted on the dashboard. In Europe, Mercedes will initially sell the posh wagon as an E200 and E220D, joined by the E300E plug-in hybrid. The gasoline model uses a turbocharged 2.0-liter engine good for 204 horsepower, 150 kilowatts, and 320 newton-meters, 236 pound-feet, of torque. The four-pot mill is of the mild hybrid variety, meaning it works with an electric motor providing an extra 23 horsepower, 17 kilowatts, and 205 newton meters, 151 pounds to foot. This combo is good for a 0 to 62 miles per hour, 100 kilometers per hour, run in 7.8 seconds and a top speed of 144 miles per hour, 231 kilometers per hour. The E220D diesel has a 2.0-liter engine with 197 horsepower, 145 kilowatts, and 440 newton-meters, 325 pounds to foot, joined by the same 48-volt setup. It'll complete the sprint in 7.9 seconds and max out at 143 miles per hour, 230 kilometers per hour. Should you need more oomph, Mercedes says a six-cylinder diesel will follow. All versions use a 9-speed automatic transmission, which has been updated for this application for better packaging and to cut weight. As for the E300e, it combines a turbo 2.0-liter gas engine with an electric motor for a total output of 312 horsepower, 230 kilowatts. The ICE is good for 204 horsepower, 150 kilowatts, and 320 newton meters, 236 pounds to foot, whereas the e-motor produces 129 horsepower, 95 kilowatts, and 440 newton meters, 325 pounds to foot. Mercedes touts a 6.5 second sprint, making it the quickest of the trio, and a top speed of 141 miles per hour, 227 kilometers per hour. Courtesy of a 25.4 kilowatt hour battery pack, the electric range in the WLTP cycle can exceed 62 miles, 100 kilometers. The German luxury brand says it will also launch a diesel fed later. Of course, there are also going to be AMG versions, and it remains to be seen whether there the V8 will return. A recent report states the Top Dog E63 will downsize to a V6 plug-in hybrid with over 700 horsepower, but nothing is official yet. The E63 estate will have to face some new competition as aside from the Audi RS6 Avant, the BMW M5 Touring is likely to return in 2025. Speaking of future versions, spy shots have revealed another jacked-up all-terrain is planned. It has already appeared in a leaked EPA document of 2024 My Cars, so it's coming to the United States, unless Mercedes wants to keep the old model for one more year. Meanwhile, the regular Mercedes E-Class Estate will go on sale this fall in Europe. The 2024 Mercedes-Benz E-Class Estate is the model's most compelling body style. Update: The new E-Class wagon will not come to America, but there might be an all-terrain version.